In the spirit of giving, the Salvation Army served a warm Thanksgiving meal to more than 100 people tonight in Beaumont. KFDM's Taylor Justice is live in studio tonight to share the impact on the large crowd of men and women. Taylor. Kimberly, other organizations serve on the holiday. The Salvation Army provides the meals a day early, ensuring more will be fed this Thanksgiving week. A long line of people forming at the Salvation Army shelter off McFadden Avenue in Beaumont. Lieutenant James Guzman is a Salvation Army officer here in Jefferson County. We are serving our Thanksgiving meal a day early. Uh, we were just trying to uh, serve our community and just provide a hot meal. A hot meal, including turkey, pork cutlets, broccoli casserole, green beans, and an array of desserts, all prepared and served by dedicated volunteers. Normally we feed anywhere between uh, um, uh, 70 to 80 people, but tonight we're expecting to feed anywhere between 100 and 150 people. People, each with a unique story to share. I have COPD and congestive heart failure, and I'm on oxygen 24-7, I have to sleep with oxygen. So I ended up here. Once my roommate passed, I mean, I, had, I ended up here. I lost my place uh, November the 1st of this, uh, this year, and uh, I was able to come back here in November the 6th, and I, I had a spot here. Michael Romero and Sean Simeon both live at the shelter. They're grateful to those who are showing compassion and care this holiday season. Let me tell you something. The Salvation Army is truly a blessing. I wouldn't know, I w I wouldn't know where I would be without them. I have a roof over my head today. I got food in my stomach. I'm proud and be glad to be here at the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army served the Thanksgiving meals from about 5 until 6 tonight. Reporting live in studio, I'm Taylor Justice. Kimberly? All right, Taylor, thank you so much. Earlier today, volunteers with some Beaumont organizations joined forces together, serving Thanksgiving meals to the homeless and those who may not get to share a meal with loved ones. John Huston says he and his family have been homeless for six months. He says living on the streets with a family of five has been a nightmare, but the Thanksgiving feast offered a break. Bibles and Bug Spray host the feast each year at some other place, at Henry's Place, allowing the homeless to rest, have a meal, and enjoy fellowship. Volunteers prayed with the homeless and sang songs. They also passed out clothes, tents, and other items the homeless signed up for in advance and the man says that he feels like his family is truly feeling the Thanksgiving spirit, something he never experienced growing up. Oh, it means everything. Just being able to sit there with my wife and kids and having an actual meal with them for Thanksgiving and just us, that's all we need, I suppose. Oh, it's a huge help, huge, tremendous. And I, I believe, I strongly believe there needs to be more organizations like this out there. The woman who started Bibles and Bug Spray says the feast serves over 100 homeless each year and is an opportunity to show love to those who otherwise may be.